Hey there people, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a question I keep getting asked by time and time people in the comments section down below on various videos on this YouTube channel is why do they feel tired after eating their one meal? And they also say at the same time, having a balance of energy throughout the day, when I eat my one meal a day, my energy levels just plummet. So I'm gonna share with you four different reasons that could be causing you to actually have low energy and your energy drop after eating your one meal a day. And the things I'm gonna share with you all are things that I learned on my own journey. And yeah, I've had these issues before that I ended up resolving. So for me, when I eat my one meal, I don't feel tired afterwards and I can work for hours and hours and hours and just be really productive and still achieve a lot. Which yeah, I wanna be having an abundance of energy throughout the whole day and I don't want it to drop obviously after I eat my one meal and if it does then I need to ask myself why is that actually happening and not actually blame the one meal a day diet for doing it because yeah a lot of people will do when it's not actually the diet issue. So the first one and this is a really really simple easy one to resolve you are just overeating. This is quite likely. I see it with people time and time again, where they're trying to eat an abundance of calories, which you want to be getting enough calories until you reach the point of satiation. But a lot of people, and I have done this in the past, and I sometimes still do it now, but on a very, very rare basis, they just continue to eat past the point of satiation where they are literally overeating. And when I've done this before, it feels like it's gonna come out of my neck and come out of my mouth. And yeah, when I do that, it is just so much food for my body to process, too much food than it actually needs. So it's actually using more energy to actually digest the food than what is actually giving me. So yeah, just try and be very, very mindful of how much food you're eating and try and eat without any distractions around you and eat your food slowly. Because if you eat really, really fast, you can eat it really, really fast and feel like you're not full and keep eating, but your body hasn't registered that it's got all that food in the stomach yet. So then it can be a delayed effect with making you feel full. And then you get to the point where you may keep eating and then you just stuff yourself well too much and then you feel sluggish. So yeah, this is just something to be very, very aware of. And like I said, this one can be easily resolved. So yeah, if you're eating a lot of calories, and you're feeling tired afterwards, try reducing the amount of calories that you're eating and see if that makes some changes with how you feel after eating your one meal a day with your energy levels. The second one can be due to you are just not getting enough sleep and your body is very depleted and very fatigued. So for example, if you're not sleeping enough, your body is not recharging itself fully and that is the number one key for giving you an abundance of energy throughout the day and with also giving you an abundance of energy after eating. Because I used to find, when I used to have a lot of fatigue in the past, and then I'd go and eat food, my energy levels would massively drop because yeah, my body was using so much energy to digest the food. And it is one of the most energy consuming things for the body to do, which is digesting food. So yeah, if you are not getting enough sleep and going to bed early enough, start going to bed as early as possible, sleep as much as possible, and you start to notice that your energy levels just throughout your day will be more optimal, your health will be more optimal, your hormone production, your mental health, your cognitive function, and you'll notice that after eating your one meal, your energy levels should be a lot higher. And the third reason is, and I've seen this with so many different people, except for people that have corrected this issue in the first place. And I used to have this issue, so yeah, I can vouch for this one. And that is, a lot of people are very low in chromium and vanadium, which are very key essential nutrients for regulating blood sugar levels and insulin. And as a lot of people are aware of, intermittent fasting gives you these benefits, but if you're doing intermittent fasting and you're also deficient in these, you're not gonna get the full benefits for your blood sugar regulation to be optimal and insulin as well. So what happens is a lot of people will eat their one meal that are low in chromium and vanadium and their blood sugar levels will either skyrocket or go very, very low, which is then going to massively drop your energy levels. And I used to have this happen, I used to eat. And then I feel really, really fatigued afterwards, even if it wasn't a lot of food. So this is something to be majorly, majorly aware of, and you wanna be correcting this, but you also wanna be making sure that when you're taking these in supplementation form, 
that you're also taking a broad spectrum of other nutrients because if you're low in these you're going to be low in other nutrients and everyone that I've coached and helped around the world for years and years and years hundreds and hundreds of people I haven't coached anyone that hasn't got an abundance of nutritional deficiencies it is an epidemic in today's world and it causes a whole host of mental and physical health issues holistically it has a negative effect on the digestion your hormone production it lowers your maximum lifespan and a whole host of other negative health consequences that you want to be avoiding completely so yeah you want to be taking a multi-nutrient supplement that has all of the different broadest spectrum of essential nutrients that you need for your body to have the most optimal insulin and blood sugar regulation effects because yeah if you're just taking chromium and vanadium it could start to deplete other nutrients because certain nutrients are antagonists to other nutrients which means they will lower them so by taking a broad spectrum of nutrients you can make sure you're getting all the nutrients that you need without depleting one or the other too much so what i'm going to do is put a link down below for a specific multi-nutrient supplement it's not the cheapest on the market but you get what you pay for and there's nothing toxic added to it it's the most bioavailable form it doesn't have the powders encapsulated in gelatin capsules which are really high in heavy metals which are very toxic for you they're actually vegetable cellulose capsules and yeah it is just one of the best multi-nutrient supplements on the market i personally use this and i recommend it to all of my clients and friends and family members that i help and coach around the world and you're going to find once you start taking it you're going to notice so many improvements in more ways than you can ever possibly imagine in how you feel holistically so yeah make sure that you are taking that on a regular basis and with this you want to be taking six of the capsules at least once a day with your one meal a day do not consume it while you're in the fasted state because it can induce nausea within you and with those links down below there'll be uk us and worldwide suppliers that can deliver them straight to your door and number four and this way of eating is just an absolute abomination to your health as shown through so many different scientific studies out there you are eating excessively high amounts of fat with a lot of carbs and eating the combination of these two foods in high amounts have been shown to make your blood sugar levels go chronically high through the roof so to speak and the reason why this happens is because when you're eating a lot of fat what happens is it goes into your bloodstream and then it coats your cells and then what happens is the carbohydrates break down into glucose and other different forms of sugars so to speak and then they go to go from the blood into the cells but they can't because the cells aren't permeable because it's covered in fat so then the sugar stays in your blood your sugar levels go really really high and then your pancreas starts secreting loads and loads of insulin to try and regulate that issue that is going on which overworks your pancreas and then it can send you in the direction of becoming insulin resistance which is one of the main causes for type 2 diabetes and other blood sugar issues so yeah you want to be making sure that you're eating either a high carbohydrate plant-based whole foods diet or a ketogenic diet one or the other either high fat or high carb do not be eating loads of fat with loads of carbs together it's okay to eat moderate amounts of them together so you could have a high amount of carbs with smaller amounts of fat and you'll be absolutely fine but i would say with a ketogenic diet you really want to be keeping your carbs around a five percent of your total calories a day because yeah even eating a significant amount that isn't really really high with carbohydrates with fat can cause some major major issues but it's not so much of an issue when you're consuming a bit more fat with carbohydrates so this is just something to be very very mindful of so yeah it is mostly all related to whether your bodies are already tired or you've got blood sugar issues going on or insulin issues or nutritional deficiencies so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think we need to learn about why they may be feeling tired after eating their one meal a day and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis on specific topics to do with one meal a day showing you what i eat for my one meal a day on a plant-based diet showing you also what i do in a day calisthenics progression and workout videos and many other different videos to help you go in the direction of gaining and maintaining the body that you desire the fitness levels and the energy levels as well 
So if those type of videos sound good to you, click that subscribe button down below and click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those games. Peace.